Docker in production and beyond. So far we've gained a full understanding of Docker fundamentals as they apply to web development by building our own images and using the Docker Hub workflow to refine our web development and web deployment in real environments. This final section will give a brief insight into more advanced features which will be of interest to you as you use Docker more and more in production and for other purposes. In this video, we're going to get a brief overview of the state of the art in the Docker ecosystem, so you're prepared for what may come. Docker is an evolving ecosystem, so it's hard to tell which of the technologies will become standard. The Docker Corporation itself is seeking to define the standards of containerization, but as it is an open source project, it is up to the development community to decide who wins. In this section, we're going to look at multi-container orchestration with Docker Compose, formerly known as FIG, more complex startup configuration with Docker Compose, and discuss some of the key concepts that the Docker community is talking about. By the end of this section, you'll be able to hold your own in any conversation about Docker within the development community, orchestrating containers with Docker Compose. In this video, we're going to look at Docker Compose, a Docker orchestration tool. We will download and install Docker Compose, configure it to run the simple linking example from the last section, and start up our orchestrated container. At the end, we'll understand how to set up and run Docker Compose to orchestrate multiple containers. First, we're going to install Docker Compose on our virtual private server. On your virtual private server, run as root apt dash get install python dash pip then type pip install docker dash compose and test it works by running docker dash compose minus minus version docker compose helps you manage the orchestration by taking its instructions from simple files called yaml files You'll remember from the last section that we set up a simple pair of containers and had them talk to each other. We're going to do the same here, but manage the starting up of the containers using a Docker Compose script. Docker Compose uses a YAML file to configure its runs. If you don't know, a YAML file is a simple configuration file designed for readability. Let's open up a text editor and create a file called docker compose YAML. The first line of the file will describe the name of the container. Type 1 and a colon. Next we put in the details of the container. Hit return and type a space and then image colon space imile slash SQLite. This tells Docker Compose the name of the image to run. We're going to use MySQLite image for this. Next we hit return and space and type command colon nc minus l 1 2 3 4 5. Next we hit return and type 2 colon. Again we type in the same image line for this container. And we type in another command line beginning with slash bin slash bash minus c quotes sleep 3 ampersand ampersand so cat then capital file colon slash etc slash issue space capital tcp colon 1 colon 12345 close quotes finally as we want to link these containers together we're going to add a link line Hit return and space, and then links, colon, return, space, dash, space, one, colon, one. Save the file, and let's run it. We start by typing docker dash compose, space, up. And you see the output of the issue file being passed from one container to another. In this video, we've installed docker compose set up a simple pair of containers, and run these containers as a unified service. We've now seen how Docker Compose can be used to orchestrate containers, and have the means to set up and use Docker Compose in a live environment. In the next video, we're going to use Docker Compose 
to configure a more complex startup container using the live example we saw in the last section.